hello guys and welcome to a new brand video and today i'm going to show you how to add properties to your pages or databases in your notion uh, application or the notion website so the first thing that i want you to do now is to open your notion uh, desktop application or you can just connect to your notion web portal with your google account or notion account and then you will need to follow these simple steps and here in this example i have just created this empty page and here i'm going to add the database uh, which means I need just to add uh, like uh, here a table or uh, in here I can create a new database or I can uh, import a new uh, database that I had already or you can just create a new template so basically here when you create a table here where you can add some properties to your table or database and change them however you want for example here the first thing or the first suggestion of our uh, database is a name the name is now is a property and which is uh, it is a text property so if you want to add properties all you need to do is to click new if you want to add for example like a new row or you can you uh, add a new column which will uh, add a new property as you can see so basically for example if uh, we add let's uh, suppose that we want to add something multi select here you can add like uh, the option of your properties and uh, edit them for example i'm going to add uh, an option let's call it just op1 as uh, abbreviation of option op2 and those are the options or uh, the attributes of my property and of course you can rename them you can duplicate them give them colors you can do whatever you want so here uh, also you can change like the view of your table which is also a property so those are the view options here we can see our properties you can uh, hide some some of them if you want let's hide them you can show them if you want uh, you can do whatever you want with your properties you can add new property like that also you can have like for example some sub items you can group them and have them in a group you can have for example some uh, view mode for your databases so basically the idea to add properties is to have like a database and then you either click on this plus here or you can have click uh, on a new if you want new something you can even uh, add like either a new uh, property or you can add new database and have also add in other properties to your databases so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time